In this ukulele Christmas tutorial and play along, sing along, we're gonna do probably one of the most recognized, requested. This is not only a Christmas song, but I think this would actually fall into the Christmas carol as well. And this one, and wait till you hear it, is Silent Night. Wait till we get into this one. You're gonna love this version. But first of all, I'm Terry Carter. Thank you for being here. And I uh, appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification. This is part of our Christmas series that we're doing. And we got a bunch of Christmas songs. So if you like this one, make sure to check out the other ones that we have here as well. They're fantastic. And we're doing this just for you. If you want the backing track, which Dang, <laughs> dang. The backing track is absolutely amazing because we copied one of the greatest versions of this song that I ever heard, which is by The Temptations. I'll talk more about that in a second. But uh, anyway, if you want that, the sheet music, the chords, everything, we'll put a link below. You can go get that totally for free. It's totally free, go, go grab that stuff. Um, of course, we're gonna have everything on the screen for you. The chords, the measures, the cursor movement, I'll have all that, but I highly recommend going to get the backing track and the sheet music. All right, so we're trying to figure out what style do you do? Most of this time, this song is in three, four, and it's just kind of like a real one, two, nine. You know, it's just real, well, that wasn't even the right key, but anyway, it's just usually kind of a ballad. It's kind of slow, maybe a little, right? Maybe a little finger picking. I was thinking of that, I was thinking of that, but. I heard the Temptations version. Of course, you know the Temptations. They gotta, they gotta just throw all kinds of grease and and rhythm and blues into it. And so we're gonna do their version. It's actually gonna be in six eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's really kind of cool. It's really bluesy. And Pear, my man, just crushed it on the backing track crush it. So we'll do that play along at the end. Um, anyway, these versions, uh, actually, we're going to do it in the key of C. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. But I got these versions. Actually, this one came from the, of all of all books, the Daily Ukulele, <laughs> which actually has a bunch of Christmas and holiday songs in it. So I actually got the version we're going to do here, except this version is in the key of G. We're going to do it in the key of C. I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why this is a little bit of a challenge for me. But also, this, I remember, in fact, this is almost in like every Christmas song it's all, or, or Christmas book. This is also in my favorite book. This is my new book I just got. I love this book. It's available at my store, just like the Daily Ukulele, store.ukulelepros.com, the number one site to get all your ukulele needs. Um, but, but I also want to show you this book. If you're into more jazzy arrangements, now we're not doing a jazzy, we're doing a blues one. This is a great book. This is the real Christmas book. And this has like jazz, jazzy arrangements of Christmas songs. So uh, and that's one is also available at my store. All right, let me show you the strum pattern here for this. Uh, to grab just a C chord, we're gonna do it in the key of C. The book showed G, which probably is an easier key. Uh, but let's do this. I'll show you this. And I'll tell you why I'm pushing myself to key of C today. All right, so just grab your regular C chord. It's fine. And we're just going to do this. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. That's a real simple strum pattern. Just down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So six, eight means six beats per measure. Each note gets an eighth note. Don't really even need to worry about that for this lesson. Just know that's in six. So it's going to go one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. Okay, so that's a real simple strap pattern. Matter of fact, you can do that. I think I was doing this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. That's actually what I I guess I'm doing most of the time. I'm gonna change it up to be totally honest with you, but that's a real great place to start, and then you'll see what I'm doing to kind of kind of funkify it <laughs> a little bit. All right, now this is gonna be a stretch for me. Okay, the book show the key of G. That's a much easier key because it's lower for me. But Pear pushed me. He was like, I don't know what he called me, but he uh, he basically said, you got to do it in the key of C. So I'm going to do it. This is exactly what the Temptations version is in the key of C. So I'm going to push myself. It's going to be in my upper range, but that's what part of these things are, pushing yourself, seeing what you can do. Just got to lo loosen up, 
get those vocal cords ready, and I'm gonna hit all these notes. All right, three chords, just a C chord. No, four chords, actually. The G7, the F chord. Now there's one chord in there that I do, it's just a G chord. We'll do that, we'll do that, but that's it. So basically three chords, C, G, and G7, and F, all right? And then we're gonna do one other part here. Da, D, D. This part towards the end where it's gonna be a C chord. We're gonna hit that to get the melody now. It's just a C chord sliding up to the seventh fret. All right, and that's it. Okay. We're gonna do it two times. We're gonna do the main verse, which is the one everyone hears, and we're gonna do the second verse. There's actually like three, I, there's probably more than three, but there's three in the daily ukulele. They show three, three times. So I'm just gonna do the first two uh, for this particular time. So this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm using, by the way, a Koloha tenor mango. Uh, I do have a, a low G on this thing, but these are fantastic. I actually do have some of these at store.youclickthepros.com. Um, they go fast, and I know that Koloha is kind of out of, they ran out of the mango wood they have. So if you want one of these, they're not going to be around a long time. So go check it out, store.youclickthepros.com. The mango is absolutely fantastic, warm, and really nice sounding. Um, all right, so whew, this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to uh, do this with you. Why don't we, just because it's kind of a short song, why don't we go through it just kind of slow, you and I, and then we'll uh, then we'll do it with the backing track, which again, which is absolutely is amazing. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, by the way, before we do it, hold it. The the melody note, the starting note, silent night. So there's your starting note. Second string, third fret. That's a G note. Side to the A note. Back to the G note and E, silent night. All right, so you always want to know that starting note, at least, especially if you're singing. You all can sing this one, okay? All right, you ready? Real slow, no backing track yet. We're going to do that in a second. Here we go. Silent, we're going to blow the vocal cord. One, two, three, four, five. Silent night. So I am doing that rhythm, that second rhythm, just down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, that's kind of the basis that I'm doing. So use that, and then I'm going to do some variations. Check it out when we do it with the track, and then I'll talk about it at the very end. All right, where are we? We're going right to the uh, F chord here. And three, two, five, six. So that's it. That's the form. We're going to do that two times, uh, and then we're going to do the ending. All right, so we're going to grab the backing track, grab the sheet music. It's all totally for free. We'll put a link of that below. It's great to have when you're doing this along with us. So um, anyway, we ready? Are you ready? Because um, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to really open up my vocal range to get there. The backing track is going to be so much fun. All right, I'm ready. Whew. You ready? Come on, let's do this. A one. Two, three, four, five. Stop. Thank you. 
Goosebumps. Goosebumps. So there you go. Uh, I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> you know, I think you sing, if you sing with emotion and conviction, even if maybe you don't always get the notes or, or this, that, um, obviously I'm not to temptations, uh, but I do what I can here. So I'm pretty happy with that. That was the first take, by the way. Um, all right. A couple of things here before we get out of here. I want to show you what I was doing here. Uh, but if you dig, if you dig me, you dig my style, you dig what we're showing you here, check out youcollectopros.com. Be part of the Pros Nation. We got a fantastic premium membership. We got thousands of the members all over the world. We also got a bunch of courses, ukulele courses, guitar lately, baritone. If you want to learn songs, if you want to learn finger picking, music reading, just we got a bunch of stuff. So check that out, youcollectopros.com. Come be part of the Pros Nation. All right, I want to show you a couple of things here. So remember we talked about the strum pattern. I'm kind of varying it up to be honest with you. I, most of the time, I think I was doing what I showed you. Just a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Sometimes I was doing that very, very first drum pattern, which is, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then, what was I doing? I was showing you a couple of things here. I was doing a couple of things here. <laughs> I'm going to show you, which is this. So what I was doing, I was adding the sus chord to the C. So C sus four, all I have to do is add this F chord here. And I'm doing it on a beat four, five, and six. And if you listen to the backing track, you'll hear it there. So like one, two, and four, five, six, da. That was really the main thing I was doing that was kind of cool. I think on the G7, I was kind of, you can, you can lift up the, add that A note even go up to that C note and do a couple things. And then on the F, I think I was just maybe once in a while adding the note right there, that first string. So these are all things that I was doing. This kind of brings some life to it, right? Changing the strum pattern, adding some of these things to the chords. You can do that too, but start with the basic one. Make sure you can do that. And then you can start adding the stuff to make it your own and make it a little bit fancier. So anyway, there's our version. This is Silent Night. I'm Terry Carter. By the way, if you haven't, again, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for doing that. Leave a comment. Do you like this version? If you haven't listened to the original Temptations, go do that. But leave a comment below or tell me what your favorite version is. What, what do you like to listen to? And again, store.youcollectthepros.com for the books, the ukulele. And then obviously, if you want to become a great ukulele player, which I know you do, that's youcollectthepros.com. I appreciate you being here. Thank you again for all your support. And we'll see you next time.